In this video, I will demonstrate how to perform an auto phenotyping, where the software will automatically name each cluster with its phenotype based on user defined FMO gates. So, the first step to do the auto phenotyping is to add gates to our FMOs. So, I'll turn this population off and open the plots from our FMOs. So, the concept here is to open the parameter that doesn't include that particular antibody. So in this case, CD45. Then we want to draw a rectangle gate showing where the positive expression should begin. Just like this. And then we want to name this gate to match the parameter name in our custom labels that matches the marker that we're looking at. So this is purely CD45. So once again, if I return to the parameters label, we can see the name is CD45. So these gates have to match the names in this custom labels tab exactly. So we can adjust these gates to whatever you need. It also doesn't matter if you don't have an FMO, you can still place a gate on any sample named after the marker that you're looking at showing where positive expression begins. Flowlogic just needs to see a gate with the name matched in the custom labels to pick up this value for positive expression. So I'll now continue and add my FMO gates to the relevant parameters. And you can also add multiple gates to one sample. So in this case, I have two channels with isotype controls. So I can add my gate here. Change the parameter and add my second gate. And I'll do the same for my last isotype control. So now, here are all of my adjusted FMO gates. So initially I just created them very roughly. I've now refined them and confirmed that the names match. We do have two samples that contain two gates each. And if you want a quick way to switch between parameters, if you open the plot side drawer, you can see the two gates listed here. And if you just click on the gate name, it will switch the parameters to show where that gate has been created.